Shalom, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. All right, giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutation unto the elect. And I wanted to do a uh, response to this video done by the Elder Apostle Orion Lob, okay, which is YouTube handle. It's GMS Info Doc Channel 12. Make sure you subscribe and constantly be edified, all right? And the title of this video is The Word Is Out, all right? And which word is he speaking of? The word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which in the latter days says, once the gospel was preached throughout the four corners of the earth, the end would come, all right? And the internet has been a uh, major proponent, all right, in which was used to spread this word, okay? The men of the Lord, you know, were given a testimony, and it was our job, Lord willing, we're of that number, to go out and preach it, all right? Also, when you get Revelation 7, chapter it says once the servants of Yahweh Bashim Shai were sealed all right in their foreheads all right with this understanding whether it be a teacher all right um or you know however the heavenly father has it set up for that large multitude to be delivered you know once that number is sealed by Yahweh Bashim Shai as it speaks in that chapter pretty much the end will come but it starts with the men of the lord who are out teaching these words these words as it says uh the name of yahweh was written in their foreheads um and in this uh video pretty much you know i'm gonna play it but uh what we can gather from it is that this word has reached the gates of the nobles as even brothers were posting on the comment board at the time of the live show all right in the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, in the 43rd verse, it tells you the king of Babylon, which it ain't talking about ancient Babylon. That letter was written about this future Babylon to the captives at Babylon. And that's us. All right. Directly by Jeremiah was a letter penned. All right. To comfort you Israelites. All right. Who were captive in the daughter of Babylon. OK. And it, it, it prescribes a judgment. All right, and we've been given the words of Yahweh Bashim Chai and sent out to preach. And as I said, the scriptures say, once the gospel will be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, the end would come. And what is the end associated with? Well, the end of Esau's world is not the end of the world. All right, a lot of uh, people love to associate the end being the end of everything. Like, there's no more kingdoms, no more rulership and that's how Esau plays on things you know I mean if he can't rule then no one else will rule no the scriptures does not prescribe the end of the world in the sense that no more rulership is just the end of this world the end of this man's rulership and he's hurt all right and uh we uh have reached the point where he's uh getting ready to blame and when Esau blames you can go into the history uh Haman you know, when Mordecai didn't bow, he, he tried to set up a situation to have the Jews absolutely eradicated, you know. And uh, he's going to do the same thing again in this time, you know, with all 12 tribes coming back together. He has a plan to pretty much label us as terrorists. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video and uh, we'll get a few thoughts on it. And uh, Lord willing, you all be edified. That's what I believe, yes. Well, I, I appreciate it. I, I mean, look, we, we need consistency. We need to condemn all violence. Uh, Republicans condemn the violence that took place on the 6th. We condemn the violence that took place for 120 straight days in Portland when Antifa was laying siege to the federal building. Uh, while that was happening, we had our colleagues talk about uh, they need that, that they needed more unrest in the streets at the very time unrest was happening in the streets. We had our colleagues say that the organization that tried to end your life 
and that for 120 days had violence happening every single day in Portland, that that organization was a myth. Um, look, this this is so important. I, 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 I appreciate Mr. No's willingness to talk about the consistency that is needed from everyone, from both sides of the aisle, to address this problem and get violence out of our political process. Uh, Madam Chair, with that, I would uh, I would yield back. Mr. Mr. Oh, no, excuse me, I gotta yield to, yeah, I want to say time. Ranking member, I yield to the ranking member. Thank you. Um, Madam Chair, without objection, I would like to introduce into the record um, an article from August 29, 2008. It's a report from the Southern Poverty Law Center about the black Hebrew Israelites entitled, Racist Black Hebrew Israelites Becoming More Militant. What? What? <laughs> did did, did y'all hear that or was that me just, did I, did I hear that wrong? <laughs> Oh, Lord, let's see if I can bring it back. Because this is live right now. So it's a little tough to, to get. And that for 120 days had violence happening every single day in Portland, that that organization was a myth. Um, look, this, this is so important. I, 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 I appreciate Mr. No's willingness to talk about the consistency that is needed from everyone, from both sides of the aisle, to address this problem and get violence out of our political process. Uh, Madam Chair, with that, I would uh, I would yield back. Mr. Mr. Oh, no, excuse me, I gotta yield to, yeah, I wanted to say time for the ranking member. I yield to the ranking member. Thank you. Um, Madam Chair, without objection, I would like to introduce into the record um, an article from August 29, 2008. It's a report from the Southern Poverty Law Center about the black Hebrew Israelites entitled, Racist Black Hebrew Israelites Becoming More Militant. Woo, say what, say what? <laughs> let me all right let me uh put this on uh airplane mode and there you have it you heard it for yourself um they said the black hebrew israelites are becoming more militant all right and um if you notice they mentioned antifa they mentioned what happened down there in oregon all right which these are all created uh, uh groups all right and oppositions that you know are used within the system of Edomite supremacy, all right, to label others, all right? What they'll do is they'll create a so-called terrorist group or an off group or something, put it in the news, you'll hear it constantly, all right? You'll even start talking about it, all right? But pretty much it's a, it's a created narrative that, you know, they set up, all right? Now you do have particular people in their ignorance who don't know what the hell is going on who may join these groups and really be, you know, uh, wholeheartedly about what the group is about, all right? But the whole time is set up as a means, all right, to uh, infiltrate, to cause confusion, all right, and to ultimately link other groups with that. So that's where you have your Antifa, all right, um, which... Um, has uh, pretty much been labeled domestic terrorist. It's been linked with Black Lives Matter, all right? And then you have the thing which went on in Oregon. And you can look that all up, but who were they able to mention right after they mentioned those groups? The Israelites. Now, they say Black Hebrew Israelites. So there's no such thing, but no matter how much we say it, they're going to continuously, you know, move on with that narrative. But we've reached that point, all right, to where... Um, you know, this word, all right, we and we have to go through that straight gate. You know, we reached the point where, you know, in the movie, all right, uh, he's going to play the blame game. And we know uh, Edomite, who's uh, on the defense and who's ready to blame, is very, very dangerous, all right? And he's not going to play fair. He's going to lie. He's going to create, you know, uh, false narratives, all right? There's going to be particular agents look for the agents all right over the last three years all right it should be clear to you who the agents are all right but there's going to be even more surprises all right uh to where esau has his hand all right in the pockets of particular men and they're going to do things okay and we're going to be like why would he do that what the hell is this all about all right but pretty much he may be an agent we saw uh you know, Judas and the Black Messiah. But, you know, the beauty of what's happening is at the end of the day, no matter what this man does, no matter, 
his blame, his 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 angle. Pretty and, and vocab's gonna pop up too. All right, look for that guy to pop up. Okay, he may pop up with a documentary. All right, um, he may pop up on the news, um, but he's gonna pop up as well. And um, pretty much they're gonna do their thing because they're hurt. And you can look at the guy who's talking. He got the mask on. They're hurt. You know, they're at the end of the road. They've been found out. You know, their supremacy is tainted. And it's clear as day that their kingdom is crumbling. All right. So what do they do? They blame. And they have a history of that. Even uh, Cain blamed Abel. You know, Esau blamed Jacob. Okay. And they're in that same lot right now, getting ready to put the blame on you Israelites as the reason that everything that's going wrong in the planet Earth is going wrong. But the beauty of it is we have nothing to be ashamed of. And we know that they're a goddamn lie. Okay, and we know that the Heavenly Father, okay, is going to turn everything that these devils do upon their own heads. And it's been happening already. Nothing that they are doing is working. Nothing that they're going to do is going to work. Yet, they're going to try it. And they're going to, you know, pass all sort of unrighteous decrees. Okay, and it's, got to, it's, it's about to get very, very petty, man. So we have to prepare our souls, all right, and we really have to act as pilgrims. We can't be detached to anything within this system man because ultimately we're going to lose comforts all right we're going to people who we thought were cool with us are going to be you know coming against us and it's going to be a heavy persecution but the beauty of it is we didn't do anything wrong and it's a part of our sacrifice to go through this you know this world is getting ready to try and make you feel guilty of the testimony of the truth all right of preaching that we're going to get a kingdom, all right, that Esau is our enemy, that this kingdom is wicked, all right, that, you know, the, 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 the vibration and the direction that this place is going is totally satanic and evil, all right, pretty much they're going to try to make you feel like you're wrong for that belief, okay, and it's happened before, I mean, go back to Nero, it's various times in the world where they've banned the Bible, and that's what's going to happen in this time. Okay, the world that you see being set up has no, uh, uh, hey, Yahweh said it himself. Now come at the prince of this world that hath nothing in me. Okay, so this kingdom, this rulership has nothing to do with Yahweh or Yahweh in righteousness, man. Okay, so they're getting ready to play the blame game. Persecution is coming, but the beauty of it, man, is that we said it was coming. We said that this devil was going to do this. We said that there would come a point where... The, the, the elite of this world will hear this word and be bothered by it. And it's here. All right. So they're going to act. Okay. Prepare for us to be in the news. Prepare, you know, to maybe have to lose your job. But hey, fuck it, man. You know, at the end of the day, you know, excuse my French. The, 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 the bottom line is that this place is going down anyway. And we're right. You see, those who are faint hearted and weak when, when this persecution and blame game starts you know they're gonna you know blame the ministry you know gonna blame brothers you know we're gonna blame you know great millstone you know they all ruined it for everybody it's y'all fault well <laughs> hey if you that that means you're just not rooted and you don't know the devil you don't understand his way we should very well understand who our enemy is we should very well go into the history and to the scriptures and see what he's do. He he's all about. He will set up a situation to 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 label you and then move on your ass, man. And pass a law to kill your ass. He's gonna try to do that. He's gonna come after us, man. But the beauty, the scriptures say what? When he does that, a standard is coming. So pretty much, you know, we've called on Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, we've done our part, you know, we've repented. And we still got more to go. All right. But hey, the Heavenly Father promised. The scriptures say when he couldn't swear by anything else, he swore by his own name. You see, that's what it means in Psalms, I believe 138, where it says he puts his uh, 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 word above his name. Now, IUIC says that that scripture proves that we don't need the name and the name. No, what he's saying is he swore on himself. And we know that he is, 
which is Yahweh by what? His word, by the things that come to pass. Okay, so his word, okay, he 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 he's putting it on his name. Doesn't mean his name doesn't matter, doesn't mean we don't know the name, but he puts his word above his name, meaning let me prove to you by my by, by my word that I am. That's all that means. So so his word that cometh out of his mouth not return unto him void, but it's going to accomplish the things wherein he has promised. You see, and that's coming through. That's happening right now, all right, in this current world. And the elite are hurt. They're played out. They're overrated. They have no leg to stand on. So the only thing they can do is use their carnal blessing to destroy and lie. Okay? But as the scriptures say, who can lay any charge to the, 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 the elect? All right? The elect to justify, man. So any accusation you come with us, we may have, you know, a, a catfish eating bastard of this world believing it and, and, and following the narrative and coming against us and helping the persecution. But really, does it matter? They're condemned already. They're through. You see, the scriptures say the world hated Yahweh Shai through the Most High Yahweh first. So we're just following in that stead. OK, and we understand that we don't mean these people no harm. All right. We we not uh, uh, come, you know, talking about taking up arms, but the word means them harm. The word is where they lose. See, the scriptures say we overcame them by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony, man. And the power of the word is above any weapon or anything carnally that you can take or do. All right. In these latter days. This word is the most powerful possession that any man on this earth can have, man. It is comforting, all right, and it cuts, okay? And the more we speak it, which is why we're blessed to have leadership that says what? Preach, constantly uh, uh, confess, because what does that do? That hastens the day, man. You see, that, that, that pretty much, that sacrifice is eventually going to be smelled by the Heavenly Father. He's going to recognize that smell. And what is he going to do? He's going to have mercy. He's going to send his son. And we're at that time where the elite are preparing to fight. All right, the son, they're getting ready to fight this message. What, what did the scripture say? The Lord would have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So we're looking at that war take place, all right, with the, 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 the system that there's, the system that's setting up in the heavens and on the earth but you know what they're gonna lose man they're going to lose all right they're guilty they're the ones who have done all of this wickedness we haven't done a damn thing okay and, the, and, and what we have done all right that's between us and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and we repent it for the things that we've done man we're living in a world all right that is that is trying to come up against the very all right, a uh, uh, process of nature. So these are the people who need to be worried. All right, because we know that we're covered by that blood and we have that testimony, which is going to overcome this devil. So he's going to try to deem it wicked, evil. All right. Now, they're not coming up against little Wayne. They're not coming up against uh, a drug dealer, the old drug dealer and all of this rap music and all of this garbage that pollutes our people and makes us more and more sinful, none of those things are being deemed hate speech. What they're trying to do is use their little groupings and things and, you know, uh, uh, set up left-hand pseudo, all right, science and whatever they got going on to try to link it to this truth to where the truth can be tainted and blamed. They're trying to trick the Heavenly Father himself, <laughs> all right? They're trying to trick the Heavenly Father into believing that we're carnal, that we're wicked, that we're evil. You see? And then they'll even create a nigga. Like on Madden, you could create a, uh, 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 you know, uh, a player. Well, they could create a prophet. Okay? And have this nigga to do something to say, see? Look. And then they're able to pass legislation and move. Well, this time, as the Lord says, stand now without enchantments, boy. And all of you Edomites are finished, man. 
all of you, from the least to the greatest, man, finished, okay, guilty, all right, and the, 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 the woman has that testimony against your ass, man, so I just wanted to uh, play that, you know, uh, we're coming into those times where things are going to get more and more straight, okay, it's going to be bitter, all right, but, you know, that's only in the flesh, you know, when you focus on the spirit and on the victory, all right, you take joy in the process. See, when you lose your joy, all right, in the word and what the heavenly father set up through the, through the son, all right, that's when you start to lose and you choke and, and eventually you're going to, you know, look for a way out, you know, but hey, we're in the times where there ain't no way out. <laughs> so, hey. Hey, suffer for righteousness. Hey, continue to offer up the right sacrifice, man. And pretty much we're at that point where we're in the ring. Like the uh, brother, the uh, elder uh, uh, Kazak just did a video. Pretty much the Lord pushed us into the pool. Hey, it's time. It's, it, it's nothing we can do at this point. We in there. All right, we're in the belly of the beast. We're in the ring. Fight. <laughs> All right. And that's in the spiritual sense for us because we, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. This is a spiritual battle for us. But see, Esau wants to make it carnal. His only way to win is through carnality. His only way of a victory is to blame, to, to, to put us on his level to where he can then win. But see, as long as we remain in the spirit, we win. Okay, He can't overcome the spirit. He can't win a spiritual battle. That's why you see him going on all out of the way and losing his wits to label you because that's his only chance man okay but even in that he's gonna lose your ass is grass boy so with that you know, hopefully i'll edify shalom